this life away from Squin was always going to be difficult. It's been hours, and sand is still out. We can work as much as we can, but I worry for the boy. The others will be due to reach here by the morning, with much needed supplies, and a few extra hands will keep this place safer. It's going to take time, I know that. And the others do too. I've seen places like this rise and fall. I tell them not to try to take it so hard, but that's youth for you. This defeat feels like it could be the end for them, but it's just one in a long line of defeats that will happen. We need to stay focused as much as we can, keep our heads down with our eyes still up towards the horizon. Berserkers, bandits, and dogs. This valley is more dangerous, perhaps, than we thought. But where isn't dangerous in this world? I can only hope that in time, we will become that danger. But only the sands of time will tell. Kyoda, guys, gals, and legionnaires, Rikon here, and welcome back to Let's Roleplay Kenshi. We can see that there is a migration of sorts happening. A migration back towards home. Well, our new home. Gary is leading the charge, and he should actually be stopping off here at the way station, along with some of the others, to pick us up some extra supplies. Now, he is bringing some across, some building materials and some other bits and pieces that we'll be needing in time, but right now, it's iron plates that we are after, that we are in need of, and so hopefully, we'll be able to get what we need from here. However, we're going to have to wait until our first runner appears, and it looks like it might just be Dogmeat. Dogmeat's actually trying to keep up with Gary, but uh, doesn't seem to be doing as good of a job. Looks like maybe then it'll be Hong. I'm going to make sure that all the others back here are running as fast as they possibly can. Looks like Oren, unfortunately, is a little bit further behind the others. Perhaps because of her backpack, she isn't running as fast. She's carrying quite a bit with her. And I don't think that she would be able to solo all of these hungry bandits. She doesn't have any food on her, but... Nevertheless, they are going to be trouble, and it looks like there is no way away. So, Oren, could you handle this many? Hmm, it'll be a toughie. It's potentially possible. It might be better for us to... Well, we could go on the defensive. It isn't too much further for us to run back with Oren. We might stand a better chance. Actually, you know what? I think she'll be able to outrun them. Their athletics isn't terrible. Actually, it's more than good enough. Let's go ahead and get you running over towards here, Oren. I think you're going to be able to make it. Just uh, dodge those first few hits, and you should be more than fast enough. It was more than likely the fact that uh, they were running together or trying to run at the same speed. We just need to flick everyone over. And they should be a lot faster. Ruka really starting to speed up then. Bonnie is one of our slowest. And Oren, yep, Oren's getting well away at this stage. Gary's there, dog meat's there, and it's not going to be long until the others arrive. Poor Sand is still in this recovery coma. He will be out of it soon, though. He is at, at zero on his chest. As soon as it goes back above zero, he's going to be okay. And there we go, just like that. Sand, our man, is up, and he is running about getting food. That's a good plan, my dude. That is a good plan. You can see it's a little bit of a, a maze for them to get through there. There you go, buddy. There you go. Enjoy it. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be looking good once the others get here. Let's go check in with Gary, see if anyone has arrived at this stage. Dogmeat has. The others are still making their way up and around the hill. Oren surprisingly taking a really, really long way around. I'm not quite sure why, but... Well, that's okay. We'll use Oblum to go ahead and purchase some of these things. It seems Gary can actually just walk straight in the store here. That's cool. How about we just wait outside for now, Gary? You'll be fine. But Oblum, we're going to get you purchasing some goods from here. Uh, we probably don't need the others to help us. Seeing as we've got one here now, we'll go ahead and tell everyone else to start running down to the sand pit. 
hopefully avoiding any potential enemies along the way. Alright, Obelim, let's see what we can do here. Go ahead and have a trade. Uh, note that's everyone still selected. That's my bad, just Obelim. Thank you very much. Let's trade. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and open up Gary's inventory. Which we can do. Fantastic, and yeah, that's a whole heap of stuff. It's going to cost us a bit to be able to purchase all of this, but they are all resources that we need. I'm tempted to get some more cacti as well. We can grow a decent amount of cacti down there. Um, in terms of having actual food, though, the cacti we can't eat just by itself. We need to have bread as well. I don't know how we're going to be for growing wheat straw here. It will probably be a very slow process, if anything. It might be worth us purchasing some for now, because it is quite cheap, and have a look at planting that. But we'll see, we'll see where we go. We'll grab the rest of those, and we'll call it a day with that. We do want to make sure that we have some cash remaining. Gary, you're going to be carrying on down there. The same thing with you, Obelum. And having everyone in the same place, at least for a little while, is going to make things a little easier for us, I think going forward. Now dog meat is on protection duty for Gary. <laughs> Looks like rain is is the slowest here. Can we figure out why? You are carrying a rather large weapon. And I guess you're just not as fast as the others. Okay, well let's get the gates open for now. Is Ketchy still down? Oh, dog meat and Gary are in trouble already. Let's go ahead and open up this door. It appears Keji is still down. Recovery coma. Alright, what is it? And Dogmeat is actually under attack and it is from other... other doggos. Can you keep on running there, Dogmeat? I hope you can. Yeah, you should be able to outpace them. I think you actually just murdered one of these. Yup, you just full on murdered that sucker. Good on you, Dogmeat. Dogmeat is bleeding, but I think... it'll end up being okay. Ah. Uh, and you are body bodyguarding here. Probably better for you to just keep on running. You're going to be able to outpace it easily. And I don't think they can even catch Gary at this stage. I think Gary's got enough of a head start to be able to make it back. Looks like we've got some maybe nomads or a caravan roaming up that way. Just got to hope that they're not going to encounter any other bandits making their way over here. Because we are still 100% in recovery mode there. Looks like we're going to be okay, and it also looks like Ruka is going to be the first to make it towards us here. Yes. Good. Good, good, good. How's our food situation? We've still got a little bit left. A little bit. Um, I'm going to be looking forward to getting some beds placed down, because we desperately need the ability to be able to rest for longer periods. Let's get Ruka inside the walls. It's really Gary that we're kind of holding out for at the moment. So we'll go ahead and just let everyone arrive at this point. Let's get everyone inside. Jump in around the back. And we're going to have to kind of get different teams here. I'm going to be sorting out our groups as best we can. Bonnie is very far away. We really need to get back over here, Bonnie. And I think Bonnie's going to be the last one. Okay. Gary, you've got a whole heap of stuff there, bud. I'm going to need you to drop this off for me. So drop, 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 drop. Now, if we just drop this on the ground, I don't know whether or not we'll be able to... Yep, we can just straight up use it right away. So there's going to be a whole heap of construction that starts happening. We're pretty much going to get everyone invested in construction. I'm going to just drop down these electronic supplies just for the time being. Okay, so let's grab pretty much everyone, and we're going to put you on engineering. So that whenever there is an engineering job, it's going to be happening pretty quickly. And I think for the next wee while, there's going to be a lot of that happening. Dismantle? No, definitely not. <laughs> Just close the door. Thank you very much. Okay, work is happening. Uh, I should probably... Yeah, I should limit where they can... <laughs> We can pause construction. I should definitely look at limiting where our iron can go. Because the iron refinery is the first thing that needs to actually be constructed. 
because then we can start producing our own iron plates. Um, we don't need that many more to be able to get that up and running. I think we nearly got the battery done there. Just some more electrical components. The electrical workbench is something that doesn't need to happen right now as well, so we'll go ahead and dismantle that. That'll give us a few more precious supplies for us to be able to get this thing up and running. I wonder if Park took... No, you didn't take the rest. So I'm kind of hoping here that we're going to have enough. Are you guys adding plates? You are. I'd really appreciate... Let's actually just pause construction on these for now. Uh, on just that one then. And Hobbs, I'm going to pull you away from there for now. So that we might actually have enough for this. Unless you're going to work on something else. Looks like it's still these. Quite a few iron plates in those. We've got three up and running so far. Bonnie, what's going on? Oh, you didn't, you couldn't enter because of the gate. Of course. How about you get outside and then we'll let you in. That sounds like at least something of a plan. And how are we here? I think we are going to be limited. No, nope, they're still working. Although I don't know if we have any extra plates at this stage. We do, we have three, which is not enough. We need an additional two to be able to really get this thing going. Well, we have a battery bank. We have enough of that. We just need one copper. And Gary, I don't think we actually purchased any copper with you because I didn't honestly think we were going to need it. Hmm. Well, we could actually just start mining some copper around here. We'll go ahead and open up this door. Um, so, let's go into our squads. We're going to change things around a little bit here. Uh, are we going to be able to just delete our squads? Squad needs to be empty before it can be removed. Okay, alright. Labour are going to be focusing entirely on mining. So, looking at this lot here, where is our nearest copper resource? Easiest thing for us to do is grab Hobbs and just do a quick prospect. That'll tell us a lot about the area. So, prospect away, my friend. Okay, so... Zero copper, <laughs> but there is definitely copper nearby. Um, so, let's see. I think that's probably our closest, and it's all the way over here. So, it's a wee way away. I think that's it right there, copper resource. It's not actually too far. Uh, so how many can we have on that copper resource? We can have two workers. So let's take Hanbu and Spot. That is going to be your new spot. Uh, we're going to turn off operate machine. And it's just going to be those. Good, so you'll be engineering when you can, or you will be grabbing us some copper. I'm actually just going to change it around for now. Just so we can actually get them going out there. Okay. Next up, I want to have a look at everyone here and see who is our best turreter. 1828 on Hong, okay. I think it's probably going to be Hong. Looks like Hong and Oblum. So we're going to have you guys on the turrets pretty much all the time. Let's go take all of these other jobs off just for now. Hong's actually pretty good when it comes to... Uh, armor crafting, so that's something that we will look at, and your medic isn't bad as well, but uh, we're going to go take everything else off, just for the time being, just so that we have at least two guards there at any one time. So, like I was saying, we only need those two for now, so we'll try and stick to them. We've got some nice shek. Okay, and I believe, yeah, we will be able to store that in there. So it won't be long until we actually have some power. And look at that, we did actually have enough iron plates to be able to get this thing done. Excellent, and there's some left over. So it's just the extra construction work that needs to happen. Sand, do you wanna, do you wanna help out here, buddy? Let's put jobs on for you. Where are you off to? You're off to engineer. Okay, you're gonna go help up there. Hong is at the ready. And a lot of work happening here as well. Good. Okay. Two groups. Very close to them here. What's good though, 
is we can we can run back. I'm gonna put them both on passive for now. Yep, so that ideally we can get them out of there. Should the worst happen. Kedgy. Been down for such a long time. Oh dear. Well, look, main thing is we've got this up and running. Okay, fantastic. So now we need to have a look at our others. How many people can we have working this? Just one, which is because this is uh, powered. So let's have a look. I'd like to keep Firebone within the walls. So we're going to have this be a new thing for you to do. I'm going to go take all these others off, all these other operating machines, and just have the iron refinery on. We have Engineer right down the bottom. And so we need to have some raw iron getting input into here. So Firebone should come collect some of that raw iron from there and go and start working making us some plates and that looks like that's exactly what's happening although bum 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 we don't have any power not yet we need some more copper first and that copper will be coming in very soon from these two over here I think it's literally only one piece of copper that we need so I might just get spot to to help us out spot can you please take that one piece of copper you've got some iron plates on you sneaky sneaky run back do some engineering for us, please. Can I just get you to drop off the resources? Adding materials. There you go. Everyone else is going to come and help with that. And if we can drop off those plates as well, that would be swell. I don't think we have somewhere for it yet. No, we actually we don't. So let's just go drop those for now. So that they can be used elsewhere. And we can go ahead and unpause this construction allow people to work on it yet again very nearly and just like that we have that spinning now what's the clearance like on our building it's uh, it's pretty close now nah, we're good we're good no way that's gonna touch but it is a little close uh, so let's see we can see what our power input output is going to be we can see water available isn't great at that well uh, I think the well is actually using power as well as as well uh, yeah, possibly. Workers, none. The machine is fully automatic. Okay, so we could actually just build a few wells, and that will make up for us having a slower intake of water here. Power output is 50. It's at maximum at the moment. We can see that that's our power in, and this is working. Oh, that's quite cool. I like it, Firebone. So Firebone is operating that at this stage. We have the stone processor, which is going to be getting all set. So we need to get some iron coming in at this stage to keep on getting iron plates. I believe that that's the closest iron. We'll confirm that by getting Hobbs to do a prospection again of the area. We can see that, yeah, that is going to be the closest iron node for us. Okay. How many? Three. Great. Okay. So let's see. Five bones on the inside. Uh, we're going to take Ziff. Ziff, this is going to be your rock. We're going to make that thing happen. Um, we'll have other people on rescue. And we'll just go change that around. Have that be at the top. Okay, so we need to have two others that are going to join the laborers for that. So let's see, who do we want to have? Well, Obelum, I think you're on the turret right now. So we're going to take Low. And we might also take Rain have those two out here as well now rain is a warrior what we're probably going to do is have some others replace some of our folks on the outside but really at the end of the day everyone's going to be working so yeah i don't think there's gonna be much change there so low and rain we're going to get you both working on this here i'm going to go take all the rest of these off and we're going to have engineer just on the back of that just so that i can change it around should we need to there we go. They're heading off and they're going to start doing their thing. Excellent. Ziff is still a little a little slow at this stage. So I'd like to try and see if we can fix that. Let's get these beds in place. Because um, they are definitely, definitely needed. Uh, that's, that's, that's a maybe. No, it's going to block it off too much. I'm going to leave it at that for now. 
I'm going to go ahead and confirm it. Plus, that's also a fair bit of resources that are going into that. Primarily just fabric. Ooh. We've got an interesting angle change. I keep on accidentally discovering different uh, camera keys. That will be nice for cinematics. And that's just the um, comma in full stop. All right. I like that definitely going to be useful yeah as you can see it is quite difficult for them to move around up here <laughs> so we are we're making the most of that space that's for sure how's this going look at that we've got ourselves an iron plate what are we lacking here iron plates we're gonna have some more of them soon uh, if we give it a day we'll be able to just run up there and get a whole heap more that's what we'll be going for I don't think the it's a, it's a lack of iron right now. It's just this thing. This is as fast as it can go. We could make another one of them if we need to really up our iron plate uh, production. But right now, I think that's probably going to be good enough for us. I don't think we're going to need to have any more than just this ore for now. But we'll get an idea as time goes on where we need to be spending our time. Rain, you're heading out there to mine, aren't you? Thank you very much. Yeah, you can keep that in your inventory if you want. It's going to give you a little bit of strength bonus, I think, from running about with it. And these two seem to be happy over here. Harbu probably could do with a bit of a rest. So you have anything in your backpack? You do not. Okay, well, I guess you don't need to be wearing it then. We can just keep that in your inventory. Kiji, we're going to get you in a bed. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's going to happen. Um... I think we have everything we need for those. Oh, just the fabric. And we don't actually have the fabric anywhere at this stage. It's just chilling out in here. So if we just go ahead and drop that on the ground, people will go ahead and pick it up. Okay, so I think I'd be down with us keeping a fair amount of our storage out here. Then again, I'm not 100% on that. Because we're also going to be producing things inside. So maybe it would be better us having some of the stuff about the place. Something that I do want to make in terms of uh, food is animal feeding. So if we have a look at, I think maybe farming. Hmm. Maybe somewhere else, maybe there's food. No. I will find it eventually. Rain collector, water tank, wheat farm. No. Nope. Storage, animal feeder, that's what we're looking for. And that will feed our animals. Uh, we're gonna have it be accessible from all sides. Boom. And we can just drop some food in there so our animals won't starve because that won't be very nice. We've got more than enough fabric now. As soon as one of those beds gets completed, we're gonna rescue Kiji. Uh, we'll actually have someone set to be a rescuer. Probably gonna be Park and Sand because more often than not, they're going to be able to run out into combat and get things done. But I'm liking how the sand pit is shaping up. There's a lot of resources around here. Uh, actually, not those. <laughs> but there is a fair amount. We can make use of a lot of it. We're going to need a fair bit of it once we start getting into trying to outfit an army. But that is all in time. Every day at a time. Let's go ahead and just start fast forwarding things here a little bit. Who are you? Ah, just a drifter. Hello, drifter. Alright, let's see. Sand and Park, we want you to have a top priority for rescuing. I think Hobbs has that as well, which that's okay. I'm glad that you do. Uh, we're gonna go. Hmm. Find and put in bed. Yeah, I guess I guess he's got that from just picking someone up. Whoops, I think it's because I told Sand to do that. Yeah, Hobbs, you can you can carry on doing that. I'm okay with you helping us out there. Very nice. Uh, let's have a look at the rest. Sand is actually still relatively injured, so if that's not finished, we'll get you resting. Park could do with a bit of a rest as well. Park and Hobbs, for that matter. Okay. Hobbs, let's get you resting, buddy. You've earned it. And same thing with Park. There we go. Hobbs, 
Rain's running in, I think with a whole heap of iron for us, fantastic. Exactly what we want to see. And Firebone, I think you're working on some of that for us. And you're back. Yeah, 30, 30 iron plates is quite a bit. So a lot of that's going to be going straight towards it. Gary, how are you doing? Your right foreleg is still on the mend. You're getting there. We'll be able to add some food to this very, very soon. The materials are in. I think it's probably about time that we send Gary and one other back up there just to wait until we can get supplies again. Could take Oren for that, actually. Gary and Oren, let's head up to the way station. See what they've got. Get them running together. Bonnie? Oh, that's right. Bonnie's following. <laughs> I got Bonnie following Oren. Probably not the best move for us. Let's get Bonnie following maybe Spot. So there will be some running around. We'll see how that goes. So I think it's good having them have that as a job because it'll mean when they get hungry, they will still go over and get food, which is obviously very necessary. Ruka, let's see. It'd be good to get you working things again for us. How many people can we have working this? Two. Okay. All right. So we will work Ruka into the labor squad. Even though, again, Ruka is a warrior, um, we're going to have that set for other times. We're actually going to be moving pretty much everyone out of that. Move you into the stone mine. And we need one other to be working that stone mine with us. All right. Looks like there's an attack. Bonnie is in trouble. And it is from... Who are you? Berserkers. Fantastic. And there's about five of them. Okay. All right. So... Gary, Dogmeat, and Oren are out. We need to get these three to run in. Bonnie is going to have a very hard time making it back. I didn't realize Bonnie was as slow as she is. As for the others who are out there at the moment... Actually, Bonnie might be able to make it. Can I get these three back in time? One can only hope. Ruka, I know that you really want to help Bonnie. You can actually help me out by jumping up on that. Let's see. Get you back here. Hanbu, you go jump on the other one. I'm going to put spot on... You are on passive right now. I'm going to put you on hold. And that doesn't work. I think it's because you're trying to go back to your job. That's why. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be able to get low inside. Oh, look at that. That was a good shot. Okay, I don't think Rain's going to get back in sign. <laughs> sorry, I'm really sorry, Rain. Uh, Dogmeat in... Dogmeat's running back. Why is Dogmeat running back to protect allies? Dogmeat, you're a solid dog. We love you. Let's go ahead and close this door down. It is now locked. And Rain... Rain, you're going to have to try and hold here. We're going to put you on block. And we're going to take that out of your inventory. And we're going to tell you to attack all these Berserkers. Now the Berserkers are very good warriors. So it'll be interesting to see how that goes. They're going to go straight to attacking this wall. I wonder if we can even try to um, fix this. Can we put them on repair? They've done a little bit of damage to it so far. Yeah, I think they're going to get through this thing again pretty quickly. We're doing some damage, though. All right, we need to get the team up the top. Even though they are injured, we're going to get them ready to assist down the bottom here. We're going to need everyone for this, really. Nice! Okay, that's a good hit. Hell yes. They've only got a tiny bit of blood left. Ziff is coming in to help, even though Ziff really does actually need to be resting up the top. Dog meat, doing all she can. Okay, it looks like we're actually trying to repair the door at this stage. Which, I, again, I don't think we're going to be able to do in time. Ziff. Ziff is also trying to <laughs> repair the door. Ziff, you know what, buddy? Um, how about you move back from that and we'll get you trying to attack them all. Yeah, that got their attention. We are freaking doing this thing. Rain, um, I, <laughs> I'm going to take you off block because I think we can actually do this. 
Yeah, the turrets, the turrets are working. They're working well. All right, Ziff's taking a fair bit of damage there. Actually, no, Ziff isn't. They were just attacking the door. But now Ziff is taking damage. Hang in there, team. Just look at those bolts, though. That's what I'm talking about. It's good damage. And that door is on the on the mend. Hang in there. That's it. That's the way. That's how we do it. Now we can actually get extra power from uh, from burning their corpses. But there's so many of them that now I'm uh, I'm thinking we need to try and figure out a way to store all of their armor that they've just got on them. Armor and weapons that we can sell elsewhere. Because uh, that's a whole heap. It's a whole heap of goodness. Rain, I feel like you should probably hold up. Dog meat, slightly injured. But it's doing okay. We've got some healing going on there. Park is heading out there to Bonnie. Bonnie, hang in there. Hang in there, Bonnie. You're going to be okay. Oh, dear. Oh, poor Bonnie. Yeah, Bonnie, maybe you just stay within the walls until you grow up a little bit. Okay, um, let's send these two inside, just for a second. Okay. Now that we can actually see inside, let's have a look at placing down some containers for us here. We want to go storage. We need armor storage, and we need weapon storage. Where those are, they can really be anywhere. We could go ahead and store one back here. I thought we could, maybe not. Sure. Two building materials. Sounds like a deal. Okay. Yeah, we're going to need to get them all recovering. Uh, Hobbs should hopefully do some of that recovery himself. Yep, there we go. You got Ziff. Running Ziff away. Looks like Lowe's going to be going straight back to work. Same thing with Rain. Rain's just kind of hopping about. I feel like Rain, you should probably rest up. We'll uh, we'll get round to you, don't worry. Hobbs, buddy, can you please rescue dog meat? Let's see if we can get dog meat feeling okay about stuff. That door's looking good. Let's take Hanbu off that and let's take Ruka off that. They all did a fantastic job at defending this place. <laughs> Very, very impressed with how that went. Uh, Hobbs, where did you go? Oh, you're just here. You're hanging out with dog meat. How about you see if you can place dog meat up here? Um, Ziff, I don't know why you are running back out there to work. Just please rest up for a while. You can't have rest as a job, but that's fine. Uh, is dog meat actually sleeping? Is that a thing? Unconscious. Recovery coma. I think, yeah, dog meat is meant to be in that bed, so... It's kind of working. It's kind of working. And I think we did actually get that complete down there. See if that's the case. Now, yeah, that's part of it. What about the others? I think they're just going back to get some more building materials. Hobson Park, they're coming back in. Uh, Bonnie also needs to be recovered, so let's go ahead and grab Bonnie. It's really difficult. We're just going to have to go over here. Who do we have there? Just a skull. Go ahead and pick up Bonnie. And let's get moving. So you notice the game's at a bit of a different pace at this stage, because, well, for one, we're all back together. And we're in recovery mode. We've still got all these berserkers hanging outside, unconscious and or dying. So let's see if we can do something about them. I don't think I can set up an auto loot kind of thing. Foraging animals? Oh wow. I don't think they're animals, but you know, you do what you gotta do, Spot. Are oh, you gonna go just operate the machine? Ah, let's have that be your top priority. Foraging animals. Nope, <laughs> you're not going to do it. That's fine. That's fine. So we're just going to do that as a manual task. The way that we're going to do that is a little bit of this, a little bit of that. So let's go open up that armor storage. Then all we have to do is that. Out of trading range. Hmm, that's unfortunate. Yeah, I guess we need to be close to drop those things off. We can see the sell value on them is pretty decent. 
I think what would be more valuable to us, though, is the weapons more than anything. Yeah. The armored skirts are so-so. We'll keep foraging animals on, because that's going to help us out. I think the others have that too, though, so don't worry about it for now. It's just the weapons that we are going to want. So for that, we'll need a big backpack. And I think Rain has one of the biggest. No, not you. It'll be Orin then. Yep, and Orin still has these sleeping bags. Sleeping bags that we can actually place down um, as kind of, well, emergency sleep spots. So let's have a look at uh, placing some of those down just so we can get some extra people in. Uh, we're going to go camp bed. We're going to go place them just down by the door here. Confirm. Confirm. And... Just like so. And we'll send Orin down to work on those. If you'd be so kind, Orin. Where are you at the moment? Oh, you're up here, of course. My bad. My bad. I completely forgot that we'd sent you all the way up here. Alright. Wait here for a second. Let's get you having a chat. Okay, you don't have anything new. That's unfortunate, so we're just going to have to wait here for the time being. And that's okay. Oren, just chill. Just chill. We'll get back to that. And, well, we're slowly getting there with those plates. Let's see. I think we had Firebone down here originally. He seemed to be busy over here. Why have we stopped this production here? Is it because of the... Ah, it's a lack of raw iron. Which we should be getting some more of. Just the others are kind of resting up for the time being. With their recovery rates, though, they should be recovering pretty quickly. Yeah, yeah, kind of. Rain's actually in a good position to be able to go back and start doing some stuff for us. Bonnie and Hobbs just hanging out. <laughs> I think you can get Bonnie in a bed now, Hobbs. Thank you. Up we go. And we've had someone else jump in. Oh, Kiji. Yeah, actually, you you do. Actually, Kiji's been in there for ages. That's fine. Come back out here. Dog. Oh, that's dog meat. My bad. Dog meat, you keep on relaxing. Ignore me. It was Park I was trying to check on. See what he's doing. He is medicking. That's also fine. Rain, you're heading back out. I think that means that we've got someone heading in. Yep, low. Fantastic. So Firebone will have something to do once again in just a moment. Our copper is slowly starting to stockpile up. And you'll probably get a few electronic components made that way. We'll see how it goes. We're going to need storage for fabric and leather before long. But it's something that we don't need right this second. What might be worth us just chucking down is a general storage just so that we can unload things from Gary just so Gary doesn't have as much stuff on him um general storage box general storage chest the chest is a little bit more our size but we could just have a gen general storage boxes by the front here so we could just drop all of our stuff um must be placed inside a building it's like a big object to be placed inside I see. It'd be great if we could just fit it right in that space there. Uh, where's the access point? I don't think there is one. It doesn't look like there is. I think we'll just go for a chest instead then. Chest is a little bit more accessible, surely. Yeah, we can kind of fit one in here. Again, we're just trying to maximize that space, as you do. Let's go there. Too close to the building. That's a lie. There we go. Get that plopped down. So when Gary gets back, we'll be able to do something. Look, we've got five water already. And we weren't even doing anything. It's just slowly, slowly getting it. Um, I can't see what our total power needs are, but um, we seem to be doing okay. Power output isn't as high. Due to damage. Interesting. Reduced efficiency due to damage. Efficiency is 100%, so 
No, it's not damaged. That's a lie. General storage chest has been completed. Fantastic. Um, hey, we got some raw meat in there. So our animals will be able to eat that. And we've got some more dead bodies. Okay, so the chest has been complete. So let's see, who do we have here that actually has a larger backpack on? That's alive and willing to help us out. Hobbs, yours is actually probably one of the larger backpacks. So let's have you head on over and pick up some weapons for us, please. We might be able to put him on <laughs> just carrying around Bonnie. We'll get you resting soon, Bonnie, don't you worry. Uh, all right. Loot, please. And you've got a whole heap of stuff on you. Of course you do. Of course you do. But we can grab a few of these at the very least. Fragment axes. Thank you. Let's just go back. Ditching resources. Are you going to go ditch? What, what are you going to ditch? I want to see if he's going to ditch the weapons. He's engineering at the moment. Mm, let's get you back inside. See if we can teach you to drop off these weapons just by giving you that drop order. Well, you did. I don't know if it's because we gave you the drop order or not. He also dropped off his weapon, which is okay. I think there's just the one over here now. Alright. And you are going to go drop it off. Nice. Okay, so that works. Good stuff. Now, hopefully, yeah, we're going to go ahead and put our friend in the bed there. And Sand, you can hang outside here. Ziff, you're still recovering. Kiji, you're on your way back as well. Thank you, Ruka. Good work. The others are getting things up and running. And this is doing its thing as well. So more iron plates for us. I don't think they're being stored anywhere yet, because they're being used pretty much as soon as they go down. And no one's working this at the moment either. Ah, uh, it's because the output is full. We probably aren't going to need to worry about adding another one. Um, purely just because this is what's going to be using all of the stone. I would hope that we're going to be able to talk to Oren now and get some more materials. As it is later in the day, but I might be incorrect. Because I think we ran past here in the morning, so I don't know whether we'll catch them. Talk, please. Oh, not them. This person here. Uh, still nothing. That's a real shame. Damn. Can't do anything about it. It is what it is. Spot, thank you for your hard work. I think we're probably going to have our copper um, all done by the end. Copper underground, number of workers, we'll be able to deal with all of that. Up our production over time. Just need those damn iron plates. Hmm. If it didn't take so many iron plates, we'd just build another one of these and start making some iron plates. Uh, our other option is to run to the Great Fortress. I don't even think we could purchase anything there. Yeah, Admag is the other option. Hmm, it's possible. Could send Park. He's got a good backpack for it. Let's get him to drop off his fabric for now. Yeah, we'll keep those, sell them. Park, you're going on an adventure, buddy. I hope you're ready. On to Admag. You're our fastest just after sand, so you'll be good for it. Uh, let's go ahead and just burn these corpses. Yeah. Uh, who do we want to have doing that around here? We could probably get Hobbs doing it for now. He's got a lot of jobs he's doing at the moment. But we'll turn that up there. Uh, he's aimless right now, though. Let's see if this can refresh his memory. Nope. Ah. That's what I want to do. Corpse disposal. Nope. Still not working. Hmm. Okay. I guess that's not one for Hobbs. Sand. 
Can we get you helping us out with this? Yep, I guess you need both jobs. Um, yep, he's doing it. I must have taken off the other job and that kind of broke it. I'm fine with him doing that for now. And as you can see, we are incinerating the corpse. Uh, you're aimless again though, bud. Can you not? I guess because they're not, they're not dead yet, are they? Oh no, they're dying. Right, okay. That'll be why. <laughs> they're not quite dead yet. Yikes, poor suckers. Nothing that can be done about that though. Rain, you're dropping off some material. Thank you. It looks like they take it straight to here first. Or maybe not. It's an interesting path. I kind of like it. It's just very windy to go through there. Alright, leading on to 9 o'clock. If there isn't anything there now, we're just going to have to wait until tomorrow morning. If not longer. Which, yikes. That, or it's going to be Park that gets things done for us. Yep, looks like it's going to have to be Park. How far along your journey have you made it? He's nearly halfway there already, so... That's not bad. So I think it's probably about time that we put in a bit of an advancement in time. Things are starting to level out here a little bit. They will continue on as they are until trouble arrives. Or until Park makes his way back. We'll see which comes first. I will see you all in a moment. Okay, so something to note is that I've just noticed that uh, our efficiency on this machine is really low. We're running at 26 efficiency and that's because of power we are not outputting enough power from this thing and well it would seem we don't have enough bodies coming in with our corp furnace to kind of keep things going we can see that our battery is actually completely empty we're not getting enough from this at all the power output right now is 10 which well it could be a lot better we just don't have enough wind so we're gonna have to have a look at potentially some other options when it comes to power so what other options do we have at this stage? There is a biofuel distillery. We can turn some crops into biofuel. That's one option. That's the generator that runs on biofuel. The power output's a lot better. Or we could look at potentially building another wind generator. It requires quite a few iron plates and copper to be able to get it off the ground though. That's the only thing. All this stuff is gonna require iron plates in one way or the other. Hmm. So we can choose which to make it from. We could. Unfortunately, we can't make one from cacti. And cacti is what we can grow here. Uh, I think we can also grow hemp, though. That's worth us having a look at before we commit to anything like that, though. A hemp farm, yeah, it's possible here. The yield just isn't as much. Uh, wheat, I think, is going to be another. Wheat is possible. But it's also something that we can use for so many other things as well. Vegetables just ain't gonna happen at all. So that's fine. I can accept that. Hmm. Options. We don't have many right now. We're just stuck behind needing more... Needing more iron plates. It's that age-old story. We could go back home, take a whole heap of things apart. But we're hoping to use that place still in the future. I think getting another wind generator up and running might be worth it. The efficiency is pretty good. I mean, the small one only does 25. Requires more electrical components. This is just copper and iron plates. It's just a fair few of them. If we go ahead and knock that thing down, we should have enough plates to be able to get up and running. Where would we want to sit something like this? Well, I think there is not a bad place if we can fit it in there. It looks like we can. Yep, because there's not much we can actually do with this corner. So I'd be okay with that. Let them use what they can. And I think for now, the stone processor is going to have to be kaput. So if we go dismantle, we'll be able to get back what we've given to it so far. So we've got a whole heap of iron plates on the ground. And that should be more than enough to get this thing up and running. We don't see as much movement as I would like to see. Let's see if we can move everyone out here for a second. Um, are we not engineering anymore, team? Is that what's happening here? No, no, there. It just took them a second to uh, think, I think. And it looks like Hobbs is actually running to get materials here. 
So yeah, we should be able to get this thing up and running before long. Okay, look at that. That power output shot up. That's better. And we actually have enough power there already. <laughs> well, having two of these will mean that we have more than enough power coming in. So we should actually be able to store a whole heap of it, which will work with the downtime that we have. And, theoretically, by increasing how much this is going to be up for, we're going to have more iron plates overall. At least that's my thinking, that's my reasoning behind that. I hope that's logical enough though. And it seems like they still are struggling with this spot, and it could just be that it's the spot that they're having trouble with, or it could be something else. Rook is making her way back fine. There we go. Help us out. Thank you. Get these two back. We're just going to have to micromanage this project just for a little bit. Okay. We're, we're all the way back over here. I think they were going to get copper this time. Don't have any building materials. Okay. What are we doing, team? What's happening here? <laughs> uh, okay. That's cool that you've got all those skins, Kiji. I like that, but... Um, What's going on here? Why are we not grabbing copper? We're, oh, they look, look, look at that. They're trying to grab it. They're trying to grab it, but they're all screwing up. Um, so let's just get everyone away from here for a second. I think I think it's because there's something weird going on with this, with this construction here. There we go. Adding materials. Cool. We needed a five copper. We have five copper. The others can come over and help with the construction now. It seems our biggest enemy of the day is the game itself. But we're getting there. Yeah, this thing's going to be up and running before long. And hopefully it's just that that's funky. And it's not other things. Yeah. We are out of food. That's not good. I think we might just have to send Gary back with something. We might just have to have Oren staying here for a while. We can get food from here. If nothing else. Show me what you got. You don't have anything else yet. Alright, it looks like it's going to have to be parked. That brings us back those plates. New customer. Show me what you got. And let's go to Gary. Okay, you actually had some food on you, Gary. That's fine. Are we going to buy... That's going to cost us 4000 I don't think we can actually afford that right now. Although... Hmm. Meat wraps aren't terrible. Yeah, I think we might actually get some meat wraps in this instance. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, Gary, we need you to head back to the sand pit. Oren, you can hang out here for now. Uh, we'll need to make sure that Oren actually gets some food for herself, though. Ooh, Hong and Oblum. Had something going on for a second then. Let's just grab two things for you. That'll keep you happy. And let's just have you take a seat for now. Let's check in with Park. Okay, Park has made it. He's actually made it inside the place. That's awesome. Uh, however, I think we're going to have to wait until the morning. <laughs> yep. Alright, we'll go back to the others. It's going to be waiting until the morning for Park. He's going to have to spend the night there. That's the way it happens. Okay, how are we doing here, though? Surely we've got to be close. Yep, and there we go. Construction complete. And Sand is... Oh, he's ditching some bodies. Creating even more power. Look at that. Okay, alright, you three. You can run out here. So the only other thing that's kind of going on at the moment that's a little bit strange, and it might just be proximity. I did ask, during a little skip, for torches to be constructed here. Now, they use building materials. We've got a lot of building materials right now. For some reason, they're not being constructed. And it could be that, uh, well, we just don't have access to the building materials right now. I'm just going to be dropping things on the ground. Could be that, or there could be something else going on. I'm not sure yet. We've still got 22 building materials here. I'm going to go over to Hobbs. I'm going to get him to grab... Okay. So he's got more than enough right now, and he's already given them back. Why would you do that, Hobbs? Why would you do that? Why would you give the building material back when you've got to do some building? I'm just going to run him out there now, so he's going to have no option. There you go. 
sometimes you just gotta force them. And the reason that I'm doing that, I'm sending him out there, is we need light here. Gary, you're nearly back. That's good news. We love good news, Gary. Are you gonna make some things out here? Nope, you're just gonna start running back. And it's not because you have other things to do. I really don't think you do right now. Uh, you guys can keep on doing what you're doing. Sorry about that. Hobbs, though, what are you, what are you trying to do? You're going to go ditch resources. Yeah, see, I don't like that. This thing that's weird. There's uh, like an override sometimes where the want to ditch resources goes above the order here. It's like he's not seeing the jobs for whatever reason. Okay, so we've still got two lit. We've got one left. We're going to need more than that. We can get one done here for now at the very least. And hopefully I can resolve whatever this issue is. Uh, let's see. We've got one placed here. There you go, Hobbs. Work away. Thank you very much. That actually should be enough for them for now. We are going to need some around here, but I would rather use electric lighting. Because it's going to light up a much larger area. Gary, my dude, it's good to have you back. Let's see, what are we going to have you do? We're going to have you drop off some food. That's one. Um, let's see, food barrel. Dropping off the food. And everyone's going to come running back. And they're all going to grab that food. Still a bit of food here for our animals to eat. Yay. Okay. This experiment with something. This experiment with light. Let's see if we can actually get some things to be built here. We've got light post. Light post uses a lot more power, but I'm guessing it puts out a lot more light. Powerful searchlight, spotlight, and we have obviously just the torch post, which is free. I would hope that a lot more light would come out of here if I place this here. We'll see. Looks like, yep, they're actually building things inside the wall. So, yeah, construction is still working. Wow, this is, that's bloody light. Yeah, okay. That's something. How are we doing up here, team? Oh, dog meat, you're fine. I don't think you can actually get out of bed by yourself, though. And Bonnie, I think you're probably okay now as well. Yep. So let's take a Ziff. Uh, Ziff, can we actually grab you? We can. How about you go pick up Bonnie? And can we put Bonnie down? Okay. Let's go pick up dog meat. Thank you very much, Sif. And we'll go put dog meat down. Oh, dog meat, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't think dog meat's going to be able to make it out of there. Nope, there we go. We got you. We got you, dog meat. We got you. Uh, dog meat doesn't like stairs, of course, because dog meat's a dog. We've nearly got you outside. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, dogs don't like to be in buildings. So I think that's kind of the issue that's happening here. You, can, you, you can't usually bring them through the threshold. Uh, so we're going to have to just grab someone here. Go pick up dog meat and just take him outside. Otherwise he's just going to stand around there for days. Foot down. There we go. Everybody's happy. Fantastic. Look at that. Nine iron plates. This thing is churning them out. So, we can get some other things constructed. Go back to mining. We're going to pick up that stone processor. And this is a stone processor 3. Does use more power, so we need to be aware of that. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and drop this thing down right around here. Just where we had it before. And that's going to be a big project that everyone can get involved with. We have all or at least most of the materials we need, just hanging about there. And it looks like we have enough light over at these sides. Bonnie, oh, yeah, let's, um, let's not do that. Let's have you instead bodyguarding someone else. Yeah, look at that, Hong came back and got some meat. Very nice. How about you bodyguard Firebone for the time being? I feel like that's going to be a lot safer for you. Gary, we could get you running back now. What we're actually going to do with Gary is what we were trying to do before. Use the general storage to help Gary out. 
Okay, general storage. Open up Gary's inventory. There we go. Drop these across. Uh, actually, I might just be able to... Nope, can't do that. Uh, that's, so that's me trying to shift drag. Oh yeah, that, that does actually work. There we go. We got there in the end. Alright, that nearly works. Ah, you can't store six together there. Noted. Okay, that's fine. Oh, that's how we're going to play it. There we go. And Gary, you can head back out if you're feeling okay with that. Nope. Okay, let's try that again. Onwards. Onwards, Gary. There you go. So, we're just slowly getting things in order here. Got some shakes in the distance, that's fine. We probably don't need to have Hong and Obelim on the crossbows constantly like this. I guess it's just good to have some people on watch. Yeah. We're going to be divvying out jobs a little bit more as this place, well, increases in size, shape, and scope. I do have to admit, the sunrise here is pretty freaking awesome. Not a bad spot for it. So I think it's probably about time that we have a look at farming and what we're going to do with this space here. So jumping in, looking at our farms, we probably do want to go for a large straight off the bat. I mean, it looks like cactus is going to be our main crop, but we definitely want to have some wheat going in as well. Um, I think if we try and maximize the space that we have at the back of the place here, we can do that for cacti. Although I can't remember how many, or we need 30 cacti to be able to, to build that thing. So maybe let's start with medium. 20 is more doable, I think. Yeah. All right, go ahead. We will say yes to that. But let's see. We can't do hemp yet. Wheat, if we're doing it, we'd have to do a small one. And it's funny because the small one actually still seems to take up around about the same amount of space. Hmm. Is that because there, yep, there's characters in the way. Right, well, we'll see if um, it gets cleared out a little bit. It's actually just Bonnie that's in the way at the moment. Okay, go to farming. Back to our wheat. Okay, we can totally fit a wheat farm in right here. Okay, will that disrupt us? Well, there's only one way to find out, and that's to place the thing. Okay. Now, Hong and Oblum, I might want to get you involved with this. Unless the others are, because it's engineering still, so... We just need that wheat straw to be brought across. Same thing with the cacti. And I do believe we have 20 cacti. They're not dead yet. Man, these guys take a long time to die. A long, long time. You can keep them prisoner. And those who actually have a bounty would be worth us trying to do something with. But, well, many of them don't seem to. This thing's coming along. Good. Very good. Ruka, where are you off to? You got to go get food? Okay. Oh, Hong and Obelim. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> One of them started getting back up. Well, I guess it's good that I did have them on watch. Yep, they're trying to get in. Looks like Bonnie's in trouble. Rook is running out to do something and then running back. Sand is running out to protect allies. You got it, Sand. Take him down. Oh, we got 72 on one of the ones that were just getting up then. Yeah, it looks like everyone... <laughs> Everyone came to help there. It's always good to see. We just got some regular scouts moving out there. And everything's okay. All those iron plates are going to use. At 15 for now. I think they've still got quite a few on them. I can't tell you how many. But probably quite a few. We definitely need to do something with all those animal skins as well. He's been collecting those over a long, long period of time. Um, so, Hong and Oblum, even though you guys did just kind of save us, let's see if I can 
do something with you here. That's going to be engineering no matter what. You don't have any building materials. Oh, that's Kiji, sorry. Where are you at the moment, Kiji? You're helping out down here. Let's get you... Let's get you working on this. I'm going to go ahead and arrange those. We need to get 10 things of wheat straw. Oh, come on. We're that freaking close. Uh, although in saying this, we do have 20, 20 cacti, which is what we needed before. So at the very least, we can get that up and running. So it's going to take a bit to construct it. But we're going to get there. And everyone's running over. And so obviously the cacti, we can... Let's see, Kiji, do we want you working that? I think we do. Shouldn't take you too much to be able to work that. Good, we've got some more parts coming over. And Kiji is going to be running back with water, I believe. Yep. It's a good thing that we're giving you the big backpack for that. And we have water in place. And so really, that that's all there is to it. You get water there, you have some cacti planted, and it creates more cacti. It's as easy as that. That's our first bit down. We are going to need more wheat though. And look at that. It's the morning. And it should actually be early enough for us to be able to do some purchasing. Park, my dude. We're going to go have a chat over here. We don't 100% need some more iron plates right now. It would be good though. It would help us uh, get our production stabilized. So we'll see what they've got for us in the marketplace. Show me what you got. Okay, so we can take those iron plates and we most certainly will. We've got some wheat straw. We can take that. We most certainly will. That'll also help us get that up and running. And I think at this stage, that's all that we're going to want from them. Because everything else we can start producing ourselves. Yeah. Nice. Park, you can make your way back. And we can actually get Oren to start coming back as well. Because there's nothing else... Nothing else that we need from Oren up there. Except maybe food. I think that's probably the only thing. Is it more food? We've got those two back up here. Ideally, yes. We are starting to get a little bit lower on funds. We're going to have to start getting our armor production back up and running. As one of our main sources of income. Or start selling all the copper that we're bringing in. It's going to be expensive, but it will keep them alive for a while. Let's do it. We'll bite the bullet. And we'll just run back the three of them. Get them back safe within the walls. Make sure they're all moving back, and they are. Fantastic. The sand pit is coming together. What are you doing, sand? Finding corpses. I guess we have some more of them. It's the responsible way to clean up. Yeah, there we go. Uh, and we're also getting those weapons. We can sell those weapons off as well. So we have a number of different options for trade right now. And I'm sure the the Sheik up there at the way station will be more than happy to take the swords of berserkers. More than happy. Oh good, that stays off during the day. Very good. What's that there though? Is that part of that? I don't know what's going on there. Yeah, it's kind of part of it. Oh, you come to get some more parts. So at least that seems to work whenever they're working on this thing here. They can get the parts perfectly fine for that. Well, it's, it's working. We're gonna have some cacti soon. The idea, usually with these as well, especially with the farms, is to have quite a fair few of them. I think it's good to have some on the inside, in the case that we ever get into a siege-like scenario, we'll be able to do something about that. And generally, for the most part, they don't require too much attention. It's more just getting them built in the first place takes quite a bit of seeding. As we can see, the little cacti is slowly starting to grow up. And they'll get there eventually. Just like this. We only need seven more iron plates, but it's really this is the only thing that's kind of holding us back right now. Okay. 
See, now I'm now I'm kind of of the mindset that we might be able to actually produce another iron refinery. Eventually, the thing will work better all by itself. Um, and that's because of just the upgrades that we can get. But for those, we're going to need more advanced science books and all kinds of things. So we're not quite at that stage yet. I also don't think we need to make another research bench here. We have the research bench at home. I could actually theoretically send Hobbs back there now. And that's not a terrible idea. It is a semi-bad idea to send someone running across the desert by themselves, but Hobbs isn't your average person. He's been doing a lot of long journeys, and so he's more than capable of outrunning most of the dangers that are going to be thrown at us. Thank you very much for that, Oren. We've got Ruka back as well. Do you have anything to drop off, Ruka? You've got some weapons we can probably store away for now. So let's have a look at that. Thank you very much. Um, we probably don't want using that plank. Let's have a look at this damage here. The horse dropper is probably a little bit more our speed. The minus two attack bonus isn't great at this stage, though. I think you might be better off just having the extra attack bonus. As long as you're not fighting inside, you'll be fine. Alright, and Oren. You should be with the warriors still. Let's get you heading inside. Just because you've got some materials for us. Ah, uh, no you don't. Ah, it's Gary. It's Gary that has them. Gary? No, Gary doesn't have anything. I guess the food that we had, I didn't purchase or you've already put away. Let's have a quick look. Nope. It's a mystery to me. <laughs> it actually, That's actually a mystery. Uh, I don't know how we would have eaten four, fo four, four few food cubes. I don't know why that was so difficult to get out as well. But apparently, we did. They vanished. So, means that we have used them somewhere. Yeah. Uh, we do need to get some more general storage. For our fabric that we just have lying around the place. It's not good for us to leave it like that because there's always a chance that it could just despawn. <sighs> so, we might have to change our operation and look at swapping some of it over to here. So for us to do that, let's have a look at our crafting. If we can get them placed down at the very least, that'll be good. Uh, that's a little bit more difficult for us to fit in here, but we should be able to get away with that. We just need to make sure that we leave a lane for them to be able to fit in. Now we've got a lot of build materials, so that's not going to be the issue here. It is going to be the iron plates as always. We could actually put this thing on pause. I know we keep on making it and then just using the iron place for other things. Right now, building materials aren't so much our issue. It's still the plates. No, we've, we've, we've put enough into it. We'll let it, we'll let it continue. Uh, but we'll let them work on some other projects at the same time so that we can start to get a little bit more cash flow because right now we don't have any cash flow. Which is no good for no one. No siree. Um, we have all the space out the back here. I think this is probably where we end up doing a lot of the farming. This is this is kind of like our proof of concept to have stuff growing in here. I think it's mostly going to be production and industry that takes place here. So we're actually going to get rid of this wheat farm that we've just got sitting there. Can't do anything with it yet. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Park. Were you moving back? Goal engineer. Oh, you're already back. You're already back, my friend. Fantastic. Well, let's get you to drop off the things that you brought along for the ride. Uh, we don't actually have any with the iron plates yet. That's right. It's probably going to be inside if I had to make a guess. So we'll actually just have him holding on to the ones he has. You know what? I think you can finish it off with the ones you've got. You can. So I'd rather, I'd rather we get that out the way. Because then it's just, you know, it's all said and done. Looks like it's going to be the clothing bench first. That's okay. Park's going to be able to finish this thing off. And we're going to run for a little bit longer this episode. Because we're going to follow through the rest of the construction that's happening at the sand pit. As we get bit by bit complete. We have a clothing bench. Yay. That's something, I suppose. 
We're not going to be making anything, not yet. It looks like sand is going on over to the leather armor crafting bench. We've still got a lot of materials at home that we're going to have to send the others back for. I think that'll be a job for Gary. And it looks like we might have some trouble heading this way. That's troublesome. Hobbs is nearly back at home. Yeah, I'm not sure what this is going to be. But it's something. And I think usually when they show us these red dots on the map, more often than not, they are going to be actually coming for us specifically. So it might be worth us pulling the others back in if we can start to see trouble on the horizon. So let's see what we can make of what's coming this way. It's still ages away. I think they're going to be still off screen. Actually, no, we can catch them. Dust bandits. Huh. Okay, so we're just going to have to be aware of them and call the others back in before they arrive. I'm just going to keep the view looking out this way while we wait. And look at that. We have a stone processor that has finished. Fantastic. Rook is going to take those over there. And she's going to go back and start working right here. Brilliant. Look at that. Things are working as they should be. Kitchy, let's see. We're going to get you working over here. Helping us out on this thing. So that's two workers, and then we need only one worker on this side here. Oren, you are helping us out with construction right now. I'm actually going to get you to work on that for us. Thank you. Uh, let's try that again. Thank you. There we go. Take you off the other. And stone processing will be beginning. Uh, we're going to hope that our power output is still okay. It's a, it's not a very windy day right now. We've got a lot of power stored though. I'm surprised that so much of it was able to be stored. We can see that it is being used at this stage. It's going to start trickling down as we start producing more building materials. So I think we're going to have to have somewhere to store these iron plates now that we have, you know, a decent kind of production happening out here. And more often than not, we're going to be using them inside. So let's see, storage, iron plates. We know it's a large one, so I think we can get away with having it on this side. And I think, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, we can, we can. It's going to be a little, little tight. <laughs> we could maybe go with it being here. I think that might be better for us. Because then that gives us some room to have some weapons crafting inside then we'll be fine. We need one iron plate to be able to construct it, and I think Parker's just grabbed that. Look at him go. 72 athletics now. Him and Sand are good. Oh, wow, they made it here so much faster than I thought. Uh, okay, you lot get inside. They're giving us demands, so we'll give them a second to give us demands. Um, are they? Oh, they're just straight up attacking already. Okay, I guess we're going to close the door down. Okay, Spot and Hanbu, hang outside for now. Rain. How about you two just stay over here for now? I don't think that's going to work out. We've got the door locked. Oh, wow, a hundred. We just absolutely annihilated them. There was one shot to the stomach there. It was enough to do that. We've got a lot of crossbowers, though, so that's a little concerning. Okay, we're getting lots of 100 shots, so I'm liking that. Firebone Kiji, we're going to get you to stay out of this. But Ruka and Oren, we're going to get you assisting. Ruka and Oren, up on either of those. It looks like it's going to be Park and, <laughs> and Sand just holding the gate. Uh, as soon as this thing goes down, we're going to have to just start doing work. Um, I might actually see if we can get Rain to try and attack them from behind here. It's going to be sneaky, but... Uh, Go ahead and attack the Dust Bandit at the back. And we're actually going to get Hanbu and Spot and do the same. We're going to take them off passive and get them to run and attack from the side. Ziff and Low, they're straight into it. They don't care. They're right into this. Oh, Rain taking a few hits there. But we are... We are doing work. Okay, Ziff, we're just going to have to put you on attack all. Same thing with low. Come on, team. This is going very well. The door's held for ages, and these bolts are just annihilating them. 
just bit by bit. Yep, Lowe's getting involved. Of course. Rain the Giant doing work. Zeph, Hundle, and Spot. Come on, team. Keep up the fight. Keep up the fight. You're doing good. Yeah, they're cleaning up. Lowe is, Lowe is actually cleaning up here. And there we go. The door. The door finally dropped. It's time for Sand to get involved. And for Park as well. Let's go ahead and attack all. Go ahead and take your backpack off for now, buddy. And same thing with you, Park. Let's get you out here and attack all. Now you'd hope that we aren't going to get hit by any of our crossbows, but you, you, you never know. You never know. You can't predict it. Oh yeah, Parker's... <laughs> Parker's getting involved. Got a lot going on outside as well. Still a few of them st still standing. I don't think any of us have gone down yet. Little Bonnie. <laughs> you should really stay passive. I've got you on bodyguard though. Firebone shouldn't be fighting. Looks like we just took another one down. You can still hear the thump of those things going off. Quite a damaged leg there, Sand. And the bandit demands against the Sand Spit have been defeated. Excellent. Good news. Good news. It looks like Ziff went down. Ziff does like to get knocked out. Uh, we should. Ah, uh, we don't. We don't ha actually have Hobbs here. I was going to say we've got our chance to actually rescue people here. Let's see. Can we can we shift click rescue Ziff? No. But I wonder if I do a shift click on the bed if that'll work. Oh, we've got another that's gone back up. Put in bed. Hmm. Oh, rescue. Duh. That's really dumb of me. Find and rescue. I'm gonna make that a big priority of yours. There we go. Okay, that's another one down. And hopefully we'll get this uh, door made. <laughs> Can we not? We'll put medic after. Yeah, find and find and rescue first. I think should be the priority here. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Oren, you can go back to what you're doing. Ruka, same thing with you. They all did a good job. Did we kill him? No, you didn't. And you just got taken down again. So I guess we could have a look and see. We'll go ahead and open this door again. We'll let it be repaired. Looking at Spot. Oh, Spot actually did get a few arrows, but I think that's from the the bowmen who were shooting at us. We're looking at a salvo of 100 there. 300. Okay, so the best thing that we can probably sell is the heart protectors. Get a fair few cats that way. So, we'll let Spot go back inside for now. We're just going to have a look at everyone. Just work our way through slowly to see if anyone is um, really injured. Sand did get pretty injured in that, so it's worth him having a bit of a sleep. Spot, I want you to come back. Fireburn, you're fine. Low, you need to have a rest up. Rain, oh, you definitely need to rest up. You're getting healed now, though, which is good. We'll get you resting in one of these beds for now. Ruka, you are fine. Going through the warriors. Yeah, everyone's good. Okay, so Hobbs, Hobbs is back home. Home sweet home. We're going to get you to continue researching, buddy. You do what you do best. And hopefully we can just replace the ones that are there. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Let's see. Yeah, look at that. It's a lot of leather and other bits and pieces. Gary, were you heading here? Gary, you're here already. Fantastic. We're going to have Gary running back in the next... But we've survived in the raid properly this time in a way that we're meant to no big bounties among them but no real trouble as well Oblum and Hong they're going to keep a good lookout make sure that no funny business happens yeah things are coming along slowly but surely they're coming together I'm going to have a look in between episodes as to how best we can maximize our production here and really get things back up and running. 
we are going to be taking a few things apart back at home. Seeing as we are here now, and there isn't as much of a pull for us to have a place back home. Uh, more often than not, I think we'll be using it as storage. Storage for us to be able to move and sell things other places. And I think we'll try and have someone that can be a liaison for us that will stay there. Uh, and kind of just ferry things onto Gary so Gary can run us back food whenever we need it. Because I think food is going to be our biggest issue here. We're really going to want to try and stockpile it up as much as possible. But that, guys and gals, has been us for another episode. We have two working windmills and we have many dead dust bandits at our gate. And production is moving along inside the walls. We've got building materials being produced and we have iron plates. The kind of fundamentals of our construction on a daily basis. And while we've been getting some injuries, we have been victorious in the last fight. And, well, our crossbow turrets seem to be doing a fair amount of damage to our enemy. Although some of them get lucky like this and get away from time to time. I'll be intrigued to see what it's going to be like when we have uh, the harpoons mounted. That might be another story altogether. But for now, they work really well as a defense, keeping our gate safe. I hope you like our little spot in the world. I hope you like the sandpit. It is the start of something for us in this series and as the Legion. From here, we will grow. From here, we'll become stronger. From here, we'll become a force to be reckoned with. I've been Rykon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, Stay tuned. And to wrap up today's episode, I would like to give a shout out to fellow content creator and storyteller, officially Devon. I have spoken about Devon's content in the past in some of the town halls, and he's just recently started a new narrative let's play of Kenshi. If my series is something that you enjoy, you will definitely enjoy Devon's brand of storytelling. So head on over to Devon's channel, the link will be in the description and the comments below and say hello. Thank you all for joining me for another episode of Kenshi. If you don't know it already, you can pick up the very first piece of Rikon Roleplay's merchandise featuring Leonidas Aventus, the Dragonborn himself. There will be more items added to the store in the coming months, all available at rikonroleplays.com slash store. And finally, I'd like to extend a great big thank you to the patrons who continue to make this content possible.